In this episode, we'll be learning about Python's SysModule. The SysModule provides system-specific parameters and functions. We'll be narrowing our study down to just the highlights of this module as it has a ton of different features. First of all, we need to import it. And then we're going to run a dir on it to find out what it has. As you can see, there are a lot of different options that we have in here. Let's just take a look at a few of them so you can get a feel for what this module can do. So if you do sys.argv, you'll see that it returns a list. It'll actually return a list of the command line arguments that were passed to the Python script. In this case, since we're an idle, we're not actually passing it anything, so the list is empty. But if you were to call a Python list, call a Python script and print this out, you would get something different. So let's just give this a try real quick. Let's open up another, a new file. And I'll import sys here. And we'll just print out what sys.argv is. Simple. And save this as test sys. And now we just need to open up our terminal and try calling that. All right, so test this. And we'll pass it something like test. And some random letters like Mike. As you can see, it printed out a list. It printed out the name of the file, the first parameter, and the second parameter. All right, now we can move on to sys.executable. Let's see what this gives us. All right, this actually returns the absolute path to the Python interpreter. This can be really handy at times as well. You might be wondering when this would actually be helpful. Um, many times you'll end up running multiple Pythons in the same system. So you can use sys.executable to find out which Python you're using. It can get really confusing, like on Macs, uh, Mac OS, you might have Python 2.7 by default, and you need to use Python 3.4, or vice versa, and you need to know which Python you're running when you type the word Python in your terminal. This is one easy way to find out which version it is and which and where it is running it from. All right, there's a handy th part of system, the system module known as the exit command. Exit is actually a function, and it tells you to exit from Python. It won't actually do much in, the, in idle, because it doesn't actually exit anything. But if you were to, um, if you were to give it, you can actually give it like return code, so exit to exit zero would be a, a, a good exit, so to speak, or you could give it a one if a failure had occurred. So basically you would have something like a try except in this case, you'd have something bad like 1 divided by 0, and then you accept. You'd want to add like a 0 division error. Then you'd want to um, do a proper sys.exit and tell the calling program that, hey, this failed in a bad way. So that's one way that you could use it. Yeah. Another way to uh, test it out would be to use the setup process module. So let's import that again from our previous lessons. And we'll create a command like ls and see what we will see. As before, we need to tell it where to actually call ls against. And we use the same example as we did in our previous episode. Oops. All right. So let's see. We want to get our return code. It's equal to sub process. Dot call. We'll call our command.
and we should get a return code, which is zero. So if it if we had called a Python script that had this code in it, the try except with a one divided by zero, the return code would have actually been a one. I hope that's very clear to you. Now we can move on to learning about sys.path. Sys.path actually contains a lot of really good information. Let's see what it gives us. Actually, let's see if we can print it and make it actually print out something useful. Make it a little bit easier to read. No, that still didn't give us what I thought it would. But anyway, basically what this tells us is the search path that Python uses to figure out what to look for. So when you do an import, like import sys, this is the path that it searches through. So it will first look in my global documents, and then it'll start looking through various folders within Python to determine if uh, the sysmodule is available. Sometimes you'll want to modify sys.path, and you can, since it's just a list, you can do sys.path.append and some path param, uh, string. This is extremely useful if you just want to append a path during the execution of your script. If you want to do something more permanent, then you'll have to go digging into the internals a little bit more, which we're not going to go into right now. But this is a really easy way to add a path to your search parameters so you can import other modules. All right. Next up is sys.platform. This is quite useful because it'll tell you what platform you're on. So if you're on Windows, it would return Win32. Since I'm on a Mac, it returns Darwin. You can use this to check to see which OS you're on, and then use like an if else if to determine if you want to import something like uh, um, Windows Registry, which is on which is just a Windows only module for Python, or something that's more generic like subprocess. So it just kind of gives you a way to switch between different paths depending on how your code is laid out. There are many other values and methods in the sys module. I would recommend that you check out the Python documentation, specifically section 27.1. That will help you learn about all the other mod other pieces of the sys module that you might be interested in learning about. In our next episode, we're going to learn about Python threads. We'll see you then, and thank you very much for watching.